had a big fire in this area about two and a half years ago, summer of 2020. It burned over 20 acres and most of the cottonwood trees that were on site. Pretty unfortunate because this is one of the last native cottonwood riparian groves on the West Reservation along the river. These last couple of years, EPO has been working on rehabilitating this area. It does take a lot of time and effort to rehabilitate and restore an area after a fire, an event like this, but it's definitely you know, worth all of that effort to, to protect these areas and um, try to expand the, the, native, um, the native groves that we have out here. The goal is not to just bring back what was lost, but even to expand the, the presence of native species out here and provides habitat for wildlife, improves the quality of the environment, and also helps to sustain the cultural resources that we have available for the tribe. Down to to the, to get the okay. So the work I'm doing here in this area, it's giving the, the whole area a second life by uh, replanting trees that were damaged I thought it was a machete cut, but it's a beaver. Oh, I see. Uh, we have some damage yeah, done by beavers that actually helps the area. Gets, uh, it helps restoring uh, the, all the trees. Uh, so the cuts that are, that are on the ground basically about to die, I get them and plant it in another area so they can start growing back again. A lot of that work involves clearing out the invasive species, especially salt cedars that are, have been coming back post-fire. So after cutting all the brushes of the dry salt cedars that they're cutting with, uh, we're putting them on piles because we, we want to prevent future fires. There are some big areas with dry bushes too that we just piled in them and uh, we hope to make something out of it, just like a mulching. So that can also help the ground have a better quality for future planting. One it's here, the other ones are kind of a little farther apart. Well, it's really great to see the work that Luis has been doing out here every day. I can see a big difference, especially in the last few months, you know, seeing the willows coming back to the area and also some of the planting that he's been doing. And all of this work just so really ties into like EPO's mission of environmental right. protection. This work has a lot of benefits, actually, because clearing out Since the invasive area, vegetation helps to prevent future fire. It gives a chance for the native species to come back to this area and grow and thrive. And then clearing out the invasives also helps us prepare the land for future planting. And we have some straight lots that are like 15 feet. So what inspired me is about uh, doing everything here. It's, I became very conscious about uh, natural resources and the importance of it. And uh, I just wanted to have a connection with it. It's, I mean, it's the root for uh, all the resources we need uh, for our lives. So at the end of the day, after doing all this work, uh, I'm riding, riding all along the work area and just thinking about the future, how everything is gonna look, and thinking about the people, that they're gonna have a connection with the river, just as they have been doing it since past times.